Bell's been looking after Ford cars now for 26 years or so. Today, I think I caught you in the middle of a brake job? Yes, sir, you did. What is this exactly that I'm looking at? This is an on-car brake lathe is what this is. On-car brake lathe? Yes, sir. How's it work? It actually resurfaces the rotor surface. It makes a nice, true, flat surface for the brake pads to contact. And it's important for those pads to have a good friction or good contact with the rotor. Absolutely. So it sounds simple, but in fact, I mean, I'm sure brakes have evolved over the years and looking after them is, well, yes, sir. complicated. Yes, sir, they have. Why do you keep calling me sir? It's freaking me out. <laughs> Nobody ever calls me sir. Is there a particular mileage that you should be aware of, or is it just more have to do with, you know, how the driver operates the car? It's pretty much a lot of it's just driver characteristics, and your mileage can be a concern too, but if you're really light on your brakes, I mean, if you're not constantly riding them or whatever, they'll last a lot longer. Are you saying that when my grandmother used to have the one foot on the gas pedal and the other on the brake, she was actually creating a problem? Yes, sir, actually she is. She's overheating them, actually, and it actually decreases the life of them. <laughs> You'll start a pulsation and all the other things. Tell me about the pulsation. Well, that's actually what the on-the-brake lathe is doing, is taking out the uh, the imperfections of the rotor, so that way the brake pads will stay flat. If you don't do that, then it'll actually cause the brakes to, to chatter or start you know, pulsating as you're coming to a stop. So the first sign a driver has that it's time for a brake job is the feeling in the foot that you get when the brakes are kind of shimmy a little? It could be that. It could be that, or it also could be a little bit of brake noise. You'll hear them squeak, and as your material goes away, it starts getting into the metal, and if it gets metal to metal, then you it's, get a real bad noise. But with the on the brake lathe, we can turn them down to a certain thickness, and once you're down to the minimum thickness, then you have to replace a rotor, right. which would be bad. catastrophic. Absolutely. Catastrophic, really? Yes, sir. Could be. Define catastrophic. Well, it could be really bad and cost you a lot of money to fix it. No, that's catastrophic. Yeah, that's, that's good. Scattered. Yeah. Yeah. Catastrophe. Yes. It's been very informative, Mel. Thank you very much. I'm going to stand you. here and uh, look at this thing like I understand it. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Thank you.